welcome wherever you are e6 student as you do your final touches i want to take you through a paper here as you finish up tomorrow i wish you success i wish you all the best uh, so let's look at this paper very fast i want to take you through the home stretch paper uh, Okay, let me take you through Homo Stretch Physics Paper 3. It uh, looks like something you will meet tomorrow. So let me take you through very fast here. I just want to make some clarification here. So I'm not going to read the things. Uh, what I will say is that now you will, you will be required to measure this distance D. Now D1, it is 22.5. What I want to emphasize is on the measurement. For physics, if you don't write 22.5, you may uh, await a decimal, one decimal place, 22.0. Even if you get 22, you need to put 0 0.0 for you to score. Otherwise, you will score zero. Those are the things I wanted to emphasize. Next, D2 is 60.0. Do not forget to put it to one decimal place, so long as we're measuring in centimeters. Now you have D2, you have D1, you need to get F, which is D1 times D2, divided by D1 plus D2. That is just a matter of using a calculator. It's a matter of using a calculator, which is not difficult for us. Then if the answer is very long, always make sure you give it to four significant figures. If the answer is more than four significant figures, then you uh, write it to four significant figures. Part B will contain something of this nature. Then you will be required, this is the distance D naught from here. You will be moving these uh, lenses here. This concave, is it concave or convex? I don't know. So you will be moving this thing, these lenses here. We will be moving them. Set the distance D between wire goes and the lens one to be that 25. So all of those, you follow instructions. Then what I am interested in is this table. So this table, we will be given the note in centimeters, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 to 20. So you have V, if you start 8.9, remember, your value must have to one this small place. It's a must. If you forget, also forget the mass. So 8.9, 8.3. Now this one, V, if, because since D is increasing to the right, V must decrease. That is the trend. V must decrease. V must decrease. Right? So the, 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 the trend will give you the max. Then the accuracy, the correct, will give you the other max. So if the values are in the good range, then you will score all the max. I hope you have gotten that. If you, could, if you make this table to also increase, you get nothing. You only get around one max. So the trend is very important for you to understand that. That's why I'm saying. Let me show you. The case, you see 2012, I uploaded it at the paper. It, it, it looks like the same. Uh, let me show you the marking scheme for 20 cases 2012. Now, this is 65. It was a similar table, the one you will find more. This one, this one, it was like this. So you see here, 37, 33, 31, 29. So it is decreasing. That's what I want to emphasize, right? Then now let's continue with home stretch because it depicts what you would expect. Now we are on the table. I know some of you, the teachers, have told you you will draw a curve. Others, the teachers, have not told you anything. Others, you have been told it is a straight line or some books contain that. There is no harm, either a straight line or a curve, or it's perfect. So let me show you the marking for 2012. They said, plot a curve or a line. 
at least four correct routes. So it doesn't matter. I encourage you to use a line because a straight line because it is easier. But for 2012, they use the curve, right? So it is okay if you use a curve. And home stretch, you can see they have used that straight line. And this is a teacher, a trained teacher. There is no harm. It is correct. You score. Where the most important thing was is the table. Fine. Now let's use the from the graph at D is equal to 15 determined. So using this one, remember this is D, the x-axis, y is the v, right? So I hope you have no problem in drawing these things, the graph. Now you will come here and find the value of 15, then draw a dotted line to the straight line. Where you meet the straight line, draw another dotted line across. They read this value, and that is the answer here. Put it in two centimeters, in two, in one decimal place. Put it the answer in one decimal place. You, if you get seven, put it 7.0. Okay. Very good. For those who would want to use a curve, if you drew a curve, then you draw a dotted line to your curve at 15. If it is 15, if it is 70, whatever you will be given. D is 70, D is 10, D is 15, does not matter. You just go to where it is, you draw a dotted line to the curve, assuming this is a curve. This could be a curve and everything is fine. So if it is a curve, you stand, you've reached there, the curve, then you go across and read the value here, right? Now, the slope S of the graph. Where we have the slope, we are, the slope means the gradient. For those who have this straight line, you will just draw a line like this, then read the values here where the cursor is, read the value here, then use the values to find the gradient change in Y over change in X. You are done. What about those who would have wished to draw a curve? Kama uriambigo draw curve na umeshikiria hivo, bas, kama hii curve yako iko hivi, can, what you will do is to draw a tangent where we have prepared 15, E15 mali tafika na ikutane na iyo kavu ya draw a tangent. Ukisha chora yo tangent, tukua points mbili kwa yo tangent. Tumia iso points mbili, draw get the gradient. So our gradient is going to be negative 0 0.4545. Correct to four significant figures. Then, we are okay. So our D, we have been given our D is 15. So you will take 15. You will bring 15 minus 35. 15 minus 35, then squared, you calculate with the calculator, you are done. Determine the value of M. M is equal to S slope over K. You come back to you where your value of the slope, whichever value it is here. We want you to use it here correctly, and you get the value of M correct to for a significant figure if it is not exact. Very good. So from there, maybe I take you through this one. You just look at this one. This one, the measurement of R, R it is 0 0.42 millimeters. You convert the millimeters to meters. You know how to convert that. But B, I think number two will not have much problem. You just need to follow the instructions and connect the, uh, the, the whatever the apparatus that you are provided with in the circuit. So the switches, the harmonometers, or those, you connect them correctly, and then you have your work done. Thank you very much. That is what I wanted to emphasize. I wanted to show you mostly is the graph that it must not be, you must not stick that it is a straight line or a curve either it's going to work. So long as this is 2012, this is the marking scheme. I put the, I had given the paper for 2012 uh, earlier, you can find it in my channel. Thank you.